And off we go from MCI Center on Comcast Sportsnet. The Washington Capitals here at home in black. Pittsburgh traveling and on the road in white. This coming off of a 4-1 loss last evening to the Ottawa Senators, who have been kicking some serious butt locker in preseason. They are 6-0. Well, Brian Murray certainly has a good club there. I think he was left with a great club by Jacques Martin. They've got a lot of talent and offensive power up front. Schneider sends it on the way, deflected off the outside of the cage. We'll be introducing you to the netminders in just a few moments as Ovechkin roars back through center. Tries to split the gap, and Schneider bounced him down. Ooh, and then Sebastian Caron almost put it right on the tape of the 20-year-old Russian. And that's what makes this Russian great, Joe. The puck goes to you. He's great under pressure. He tries to beat one or two guys. He's going to be an exciting player to watch all season. In practice for the last half hour, working on their skating skills. They have been doing lots of drills as Talbot was crunched there along the wall. And very quick, that last pad save, the puck was knocked from four feet down to two, and he kicked out that left toe. Brian Muir's been taking a lot of those shots. Ovechkin zooms in and just lost the handle about 10 feet from the cage. Another penalty is coming. Wallet to the bench for Washington. They're soon to go five on three, and they will right here. Castle's quick relay for Muir, top of that umbrella. One-timer Ovechkin, and Karan got back to hold the post. Zubris recoiling with a rebound. Ovechkin fires. Stick save. That is number 15 in the period for Kiran. Back from the pins. It's two on one. Maxime Talbot closing in. Good break up by Muir. And, and it's Ovechkin three on three. Eminger to the front. And again, Kiran was waiting for Brian Wilsey. How about Ovechkin? He's just nonchalant. He knows he's a great player and just makes the passes look so effortless. It's amazing to watch a young kid like that have that much confidence with the biscuit attacking the defense. But what I don't want to do is um, bring veteran players in for the long, long term. I'm much more interested in bringing some players in as stopgap measures as our young kids. Now, what sort of things did you do over the last 18 months to understand the salary cap? All of a sudden, you're under a cap. Bingo on the rebound. Gets who? Alexander Ovechkin. I guess he fits under the cap, huh? Yeah. He's going to be the kid we build around, obviously, and I'm happy to see him get that under his belt. And Great, great play by Wilsey, but there's just the nose to the net. A lot of Europeans shy away from the tough areas. This kid, Ovechkin, drives that real tough area, takes a little whack, and follows up to beat their netminder. You made the point to me watching him during practice. Look at how quick he got rid of that rebound. He makes passes that way, too. One touch. Oh, yeah, he can skate full speed and pass the puck. He's effortless. Like you. Ah, uh, no, Ted, sorry. That's, no, that's what I think about that, myself. That's no. number eight, that's not number, the old not 18, 18 in red, white, and blue. <laughs> His mom and dad are in our box tonight, and uh, I wish I was there with them right now because they were as nervous as he was. This was their first game watching him at home, and uh, it's good, good, for them. good for him. Number one overall pick, just turned 20 years old. The entire family has come over to spend time with uh, Alexander. I know the brother is it Michael who's going to be staying in the area with him help him get adjusted Perietta walking in in a good diving play Steve Eminger broke it up end to end race horse back here comes Ovechkin has room oh! great pass and Caron makes the stop on Eminger as Ovechkin trying to prove it's better to give than receive and one year from now he'll be shooting that puck walking <laughs> up the gun he'll learn he better shoot that puck what a great play though there's that real soft soft pass eminger at one end defensively real solid here he is cutting back turn it up a little slash and curls the puck away from the attack at the other end joe look at the confidence anytime you move laterally you're putting the team in real dire trouble there he should just let her fly hey it's the same guy who's washing dishes over at the leonce's household who's going to be <laughs> unselfish like that scoops it chris bork playing the power play point finding ovechkin both of those guys taken in the draft class of 04. Ovechkin through the seam, wonderful pass, backhander by Eminger, stonewall by Caron, and scooped all the way down by Rico Fada. Man, would I ever love to be in a power play with Alexander Ovechkin? All you got to do is stand there and be prepared. 
Alexander Ovechkin dancing in, waiting for Castles to join. Morrison, one touch. Ovechkin fires and it trickles home. We're tied at two. Well, this is really the only time that Ovechkin takes a slap shot. He likes using the wrister and the snapper. And in front of his parents, not just the second of the night for himself. Here it is, nice little fake set up right back to Ovechkin. Why not? It said in his scouting report that Ovechkin obviously has blazing speed. He likes to go to the net. But one of the key factors in his scouting report, as Halpern was parked in front, is the fact that his shot is hard and it's heavy. It's hard to stop that puck when it's shot like that from Ovechkin. You talk to the Capitals goalies as they face Ovechkin in practice and you ask about that shot and their eyebrows go up. Mm, oh yeah, he got a good one. Real good release and it's got some starch on it. When he took over the reins from the boot down to the bench. Quickly earning the favor of Mario Lemieux. Mario not dressed, turnover to Ovechkin. Walking in, he scores! Alexander Ovechkin, top shelf. Doesn't get any better than that. That is the water bottler, a bad turnover by the Penguins. There's someone on the caps you don't want to turn it over to, it's number eight. That is his favorite shot, he's a right shot. A right shooting forward. When you get the puck, you just want to shoot it to the top glove side because goalies come down. Look at him drop the glove. See how low Karan's glove was. There's no way a goaltender's going to stop that. That's a shorty for Ovechkin. Boy, he put that in the upper tank in a heartbeat. The Penguins back in 0304. There wasn't a team in the league that allowed more shorthanded goals. That was a bugaboo for this squad, and Ovechkin makes them pay on a very poor clearing pass at 309. Washington has its first lead. Ovechkin's got three points. Sorovi keeps it moving. Bad bounce. Huh, and that was Ovechkin ripping it off the outside of the cage. Alexander Ovechkin flying here in the third period. It's Alexander Ovechkin having a very strong game with two goals and an assist. Leaving it back for Dinas Zubris. Playing peekaboo. Zubris fires and Karan makes a stop. Rebound score! Ovechkin, hat trick. Well, there you see his release. Just as soon as he touches the puck, it's a flick of the wrist to the top corner pass to surprise Karan. Their goaltender for Pittsburgh completely screened. And as Ovechkin spun around in his blades, he fired it immediately. A seeing eye puck to the top corner. Here it is. Here's Zuby. That power move that I talked about at the top of the show. He has to be a factor at both ends. There's the shot with a little bit of a help by Halpern in front. Not allowing Karan to get up and out. Look at Halpern being pushed into the goaltender. And no chance for Karan. Ovechkin and the Caps take a two-goal lead. Locker, I mean, he's a whisker away from a four-goal game. Yep. Jeff Halpern tipped in the Ovechkin slap shot. He has made his presence felt to the uh, Washington, D.C. faithful. 4-2, four unanswered for the Caps. Let's profile this player, Alexander Ovechkin. The hat trick and the assist. There's his first goal in the preseason. Slap shot for an assist off of Jeff Halpern. All happy smiles. How about this pick off a shorty? Top shelf, gotta love that reaction. And then just moments ago, the spin around. Top shelf snapshot beating Karan. That's our focus on Alexander Ovechkin. Wrapped up there by Sorovi. Carroll will tee it up and wait for Andy Schneider to play. Scuderi back behind the cage. Rico Fada is lurking. Fada fires. It's shouldered down by, uh, by Wallet. Seven seconds left. Blast coming. The goalie does not have his stick. And Jeff Halpern says not to worry. He'll play it clear. And Washington has preseason win number two. But it's tied up, partner, so we're going to a shootout. <laughs> <laughs> well, not quite. 4-3 <laughs> Washington wins, but my partner is not Daffy. Okay, Al see you, everybody. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you a little bit of that shootout, a little bit of a teaser. Alexander Ovechkin, three goals, one assist.
this shootout will be implemented in the NHL's regular season if a game is not settled, if it's tied after 60 minutes of regulation, if it's tied after five minutes of overtime, this is the way we're deciding it in 05-06. Ovechkin already with a hat trick tonight. Puts a beautiful move on to score. Pretty nice. Great patience with the puck. I thought the goalie read the initial deke, but it was the extra shimmy by Ovechkin that froze the goaltender, Corona Pittsburgh. So now Konstantin Koltsov must score to keep the shootout going. If Wallet makes the save, Washington would win by the 2-1 margin. I thought we already won. Well, you have already won 4-3 <laughs> if you're just tuning in. This is just a little showcase. Koltsov. Stopped by Wallet, and that'll do it. Washington wins the shootout and the regulation game. Maxime Wallet on the night, finishing up with 18 stops. The Caps prevail in preseason hockey on Comcast Sportsnet by the final of 4 3.